Uh, both teams are ready to make their map picks, and I know we've been talking it up so much, but uh, maybe it'll be a caster's curse here as there's a little bit of mystery as to what maps they will decide to go with. But again, hoping for an Inferno, and what, what would be a second map for you? I don't know. I'm never worried about being wrong with the maps because at the end of the day, you still got three maps to watch, so mm -hmm. that's all that really matters. But uh, So my bans were Cash and Train being taken out. Uh, we do have Existence that has picked Cobble before, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't be surprised if they pick Cobble. Maybe they feel that they're, they're pretty strong on it. And again, it's a map with recent changes. It has been adopted more in Europe than I would say North America in terms of playing it, learning those strats. So I'm going to go Cobble for Existence. Penta. Will they go Overpass again? Um, I don't know. I'm going to go Penta's going to pick Mirage. Wow. Okay. And then what's our random? Oh, oh, they ban Cobble. Right off the okay. bat, okay. So maybe they think that uh, because... They watched that pre-analysis. Right, they, should, they we instantly, should ban yeah, Cobble. that's right, that's right. Uh, they had no idea what to pick until uh, they, they ended up turning on the stream. So banning Cobble makes a lot of sense. I think uh, one thing about Cash is that maybe Existence expected Cash to be vetoed, and so they might be taken aback by the fact that yeah. uh, suddenly it's still on the board. So um, it's going to be Existence's turn to ban. I think they won't... They won't they certainly won't ban Mirage. I mean, I, I think they actually... Okay, Penta are really good on Mirage. Existence yeah. are really good on yeah, Mirage. Yeah, it's like right. both of their teams' maps. That's the issue, but Penta are obviously better. I, I would say the bans are probably like Train Overpass, and then maybe like as, as a side note, maybe Mirage is mm -hmm. taken out. Mm -hmm. I could definitely see that happening. Um, it, you know, Inferno being the only question mark between these two specifically uh, means that that's the kind of most interesting pick, in my opinion. Uh, I, I kind of expect Penta to pick D2, though. I, I could totally understand if they picked Mirage uh, as well. Um, I'm not sure if Existence will want Inferno, so maybe Penta will, because uh, in the Existence first Lions EK, that was the lower bracket round one, uh, Lions EK looked insanely strong. Uh, on Inferno, and they actually won 16 to 9, and that was the one map in that series that Existence lost. Yeah. So maybe th that uh, that's even fresher in their mind than the previous Penta and Existence. Yeah. Those three. In that matchup, Lines EK playing way above their level and taking down Existence on that map looked very disciplined and until they and got so to overpass. <laughs> until they got to overpass, yeah. Um, or it seemed like was uh, pretty unfortunate. Uh, yes, yeah, they they got completely outclassed on that map. But uh, taking their time here or existence to uh, make a make an informed decision, and uh, I think that means that you know they aren't completely sure exactly what they want to do right now. I think if they had two options, it would most likely be the uh, the the Mirage and uh, and Dust Two. I want to say. Yeah, Dust Two is I mean always fun. Obviously, the classic map. Mirage skin similar and also uh, getting really, really popular in CSGO. Yeah. I feel like almost every pug or, or matchmaking is like, oh, everyone, let's go Mirage. Yeah. I, I wonder if they're going to, you know, kind of talk with Kyrie specifically and ask, where are you going to be most comfortable today? What do you feel like opping or what maps um, can we center around you? Uh, as it, it's going to be, it, it might, you know, it, it, over the course of the next two or three maps, it might come down to these very specific op duels, won or lost by Kyrie uh, going up against Crystal, or just uh, him being able to take one or two players down in the middle of a round. Um, and uh, yeah, still, still pondering on that pick, our existence. Yeah, uh, so, I don't know. So train, what, let's just talk about train in mm -hmm. general, because that's like going to be the new story coming up. So, so we'll, I'll just, ask we'll you. get there first. I'll right, ask, ask you. me. Do you like it? Well, at 1.6, <laughs> I did like it. I loved it. <laughs> Once upon a time, uh, it's equivalent. I will agree that I don't think the, like the extreme like one-to-one -one of train from 1.6 to go is really going to work, just because things are different, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's the movement accuracy, like pistols are strong, smokes are really strong, mm -hmm. stronger than in any CS before, yeah. uh, and train had a lot of narrow alleys, I mean, literally everything, right? Yeah. It was mm -hmm. really narrow on that map, uh, especially outside actually had trains in it, so there was like three lanes, three big lanes, and like even four or five smaller ones, uh, inside's more open. It's better since uh, since the uh, well, what do we want to talk here? Since it was in CS:GO. Yeah, I mean, uh, it would only make sense, I think, to compare it only to CS:GO. There's many multiple multiple. Well, there were a lot of versions played. of it even in CS:GO. Uh, sure, I think the two most dominant changes or most predominant changes that have made an impact on the way I see the map are re removing one heaven. Obviously, there used yeah. to be a, a heaven on either side of um, outer or a site. 
and now there is only a heaven on CT side or on CT side of Outer, which was new and go in the first place. Right, which was new and go in the first place, and so they tried to, I guess, continue with that trend and uh, keep that update in, in place while removing old heaven, um, as you would call it. May it rest in peace. May it rest in peace. And then the other huge change I think is is removing that middle lane A2. Um, that was a uh, that. It could have been regarded as kind of an unnecessary lane where it's just an extra angle to watch, another train to look under, and that could have made it really difficult as a, as a T player coming out into outer. But on this train, uh, you can do that and not have to worry about that extra lane. Yeah. Well, the trains got removed, so there wasn't as much cover. So having that lane would have been really difficult in this current like reskin of trains. Yeah. So I'm okay with that uh, being taken out. Uh, the biggest thing for me is uh, old bomb. Mm. I, w I would like old bomb back, and I'd actually I think I'd just be happy right there. And then probably a train by Z. Uh, but anyways, uh, looks like Kyrie here finally checked in for existence. So well, we're gonna get the vetoes underway, and it's actually gonna be Cobble and Overpass. So the new kids on the block being kicked off the block. Yeah. And uh, wow, Penta. They've wow. practiced. They're like, oh, you're good at cash. Oh, well, so are we. Oh, you beat us on cash that one time. Uh, well, not today, and uh, I, you know, that that's almost in line with their cobble ban. You know, banning the map that they haven't played on that they know existence are going on, and then picking the map that existence actually took off of them in uh, in the same league. So that's a that's going to be a, I think a, a huge kind of uh, kind of. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna really confuse existence. I feel it's like the mind they, they for feel sure. like they're supposed to be confident on it, and they go onto a map that they they had just uh, taken a map off of Penta on. They expect it to be banned, and now they have to play it because it was picked by their opponents. I mean, that's gonna come out of left field, and we know Penta. They are they are confident, and they show it <laughs> when yeah. they are they are up in rounds. They will take a, they will take risks. They might pull up a Zeus. They, they will might... they will troll with some guns. Yes, exactly, uh, and so that almost makes sense in some weird twisted way. So uh, that's going to be really exciting. Knowing that Penta pick cash, they're going to play it first, and we get to see them go up against a team that actually beat them on the map, and in convincing fashion, 16-6. Yeah, I think it's, I, I mean, with the, the draft going a little more risky towards Penta, I feel like they're the team that's still going to have to show up and actually prove that they worked on cash and are going to be able to take down existence. So I don't maybe they're not that flustered. Like, oh, sweet, like, we don't even have to pick cash. But of the maps left, we have four, does two, Inferno, Train, and Mirage. And like we said, both teams very good on Mirage, so we expected to see the, the map played. We thought picked by Penta, but Existence will take it here. Mm -hmm. And it's El Clasico, Dust 2, yes. gonna get random. That's my favorite third map, because the knife round on Dust 2 just doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the game isn't over before it started, if you yeah. will. So yeah, it can be really nice to see a map like Dust 2, uh, and, uh, and knowing that both teams are gonna be very Confident on it means that it's going to be exciting, and uh, we can expect to see somewhat of a close scoreline, or at least I would hope. So Cash is going to be the first map, Mirage the second, and the Decider on Dust 2. Looks like it's going to be a pretty exciting series here for you guys, and I, I think we'll we'll try to get in the server and see if everybody's ready to play. Uh, I think there there might be a few moments of of talking, but uh, beyond that, it's uh, all going to be said in the server. Yeah, so that first map, of course, uh, is going to be Cash. And uh, so looking at a player like Kyrie, where, where do you think he opts here? Is he just the Lone Ranger over in B with that op posted up? Yeah. I mean, there's there's three good positions, really. Like mm -hmm. Truck, I guess easily smoke at A. Yeah. Mid, of course, is going to be a great position. T side or CT side and yeah. B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can op anywhere on Cash. You can go for early spawn picks. Uh, that can really cut off the map that you can you can stay there by yourself and hold off the site if you get there early enough and and get to a position where you can just hold a really nice angle um, it's also very friendly to T side though as if you go for that T side pick uh, looking into B you can st you can stage an op out by running them across and take that pick though it might be a little bit harder post update it's a really relevant change I think to uh, the meta at least that we'll see on cash but um, just because the 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 metas changed so dramatically doesn't mean that players are really used to it, you know, they might still try some of the stuff yeah, that they the tried before. There. Old habits die hard, of course, and and uh, so that means that we might still see uh, them try to do some of the more aggressive T side picks that they were used to doing in, in, uh, in post pre update. Yeah, and uh, so what what site? If you're a terrorist on 
on a, let's say a rifle round here on cache, like what, what sites do you prefer to go to for your execute? I mean, it's easier to draw them out at A because, mm -hmm. you know, you can take mid control, move up highway, you got yeah. your set smokes, you know, before you go into A main. Mm -hmm. If you're going B, it's a little quicker or you've taken mid control and you're, and you're going through the vents. So, yeah. I don't know, what, what do you think is maybe a little favored for either of these teams? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, A being the big site, we're going to see a lot more action there. But overall, if, if B is weak and the solo man at B is not having a good day, that means that they will take it with confidence and hit it until we, we see a response from the other team um, playing heavier over towards B, and then we'll see that come back to A, right, where, where there are less players to hold a big site. And uh, a lot of mid control can be important. I think Penta will opt to really just uh, swarm the boost, jump over, come out mid through lower, and try to get the vents and get that mid control and just sit there, get the trades, hold it, and then either decide to split A or swift B. But once they have mid, that kind of that decision that they want to make is a lot easier to make because it's so much easier to execute with mid control. Yeah, and then a map like this, like Cash, uh, pretty even in terms of the CTT round split, like eight, seven, nine, six, and that can kind of go either way. As it, this map can, it's a very, it's a very clean map. It can come down a lot to just out aiming Absolutely. your opponents. So is that an edge to? I mean, both these teams have some great aimers. Like yeah, Kyrie. I mean, Penta is obviously here, right? That's a team that was invited to the majors, mm -hmm. and I'm more excited to see Kyrie. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, Kyrie's definitely been uh, shining, um, but uh, it's 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 a very momentum-based map. Like we see, like multiple rounds in a row go to one team and then go to another, and that's because the map is very balanced. And I think we can see an A7 half. I think we're just as likely to see an A7 half as we are to see an 11-4 half. Yeah. Um, and that that's why I can't. Even kind of can be difficult to say the map is either T or CT sided. It's not the hardest thing in the world to get around on T side or three in a row. And uh, it's going to come down to the teams and their play styles and their matchup against each other. And again, that what makes that interesting is the fact that uh, both teams have played this map before and the team who didn't pick it won picked it one. Yeah, so Penta picks it this time. You think if they get off to a slow start, are they just going to deflate on this map and just be like, all right, let's 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 get on over to uh, the oh. second map? Not versus a team that you're more confident than. Yeah. Uh, you know, going down in rounds versus a team that you expect to beat you can be really disheartening. Going down in rounds versus a team that you expect to win against, it's kind of like a passing thought, I feel like. it's uh, it, it won't get to them mentally. I expect them to just take it round by round, and, uh, and I don't think there's going to be a deficit that's going to be too great for them that's actually going to affect their performance. So if you know they lose seven rounds in a row, and again, this map being very momentum-based uh, means that they can only win one round after seven, I think they're, they're still extremely likely to win a, a second, third, and put together a decent half. Um. All right, so we got nine players in the server, guys, so it should be coming up soon, but this is what I want to do. So we're going to get some predictions here on cash, uh, launders, and then actually we'll get it from uh, our other analyst, uh, Dustin, misled as well. Oh, we might not have time now that 10 show up. We'll see if we can squeeze it. I'm going to go uh, existence, take this map. I'll just say 16-11. So, launders, what do you think? I think... Uh Oh, you think Existence take this map? Yeah, 16, I think 11? Existence got it. Okay. I think that's even a bolder prediction, even though, because it was Penta's pick. I, I'd say Penta take this map, uh, uh, I, I'd, say, I'd say Penta take this map convincingly. I, I feel the confidence coming from it. I'd say they take this map 16-8. All right, and then let's, uh, let's get some thoughts and some predictions there from uh, our panel. We've got uh, Dust and Miss Led. Guys, take it away. And yeah, to speak on that, bold, bold prediction coming there from Penta. I mean, they picked the map they lost on, and that was a decided victory for Existence. I mean, 16-8? Do they think that Existence is going to bring the same thing to the table against them once again, and they can counter-strat that? I, I don't know what the pick is with that. Yeah, I mean, to, to one side of the story is that, yeah, this is the map that Existence beat them on in the playoffs, so why would you pick that map? Yes, but you have to understand that, you know, one best of one mapper in a best of three map loss to a team is not going to take away from your mindset of how you feel about how you play a certain map. Let's let's take a history lesson. Cash is the map that they eliminated Titan from uh, Katowice from, you know, very, very recently, which is a good map for Titan. They blasted him 16-4 on that map at that land, and, and I think that that map probably 
probably holds a little bit more weight on, on how you judge a team on how they play it. So I would say, yes, this is a chance for existence to win. I mean, they beat them earlier in these playoffs, but it's not as if Penta's bad on the mat. They've had some big wins on it, like the one I just used as an example. So I would expect this to – if existence can't win this map, this is going to be a 2-0 series, I think. But if yeah. existence can take cash, I think we could see eventually uh, – we would see that third map dust too, and then from there we'll just have to see how it goes. Yeah, definitely. What about you? What do you think? I, I think this is their only chance to be able to force a map number three. They have to get it done right here on cash. And, I mean, if history holds true with how they've done so far against Penta, I think existence can take this. And I think I, – I just have an inkling that – I feel like Pento's coming into this thinking that they're just going to be able to counter strat what Existence already did before, and I don't think Existence is going to do that again. I think they're going to switch it up a little bit, come with a bigger, better game, and they should be able to take this, and I'm right there with Helium. I think Existence will take map one. I think map two should go. Mirage should go in favor of Penta, and then we're going to go down to that knife for sides on Dust 2, which, as I said earlier, doesn't really matter on Dust 2. It, you might as well just throw the knife around, because either side, it's an 8-7 map, in my opinion, so just let that one go, and I think I think Existence aim is strong enough that they can hold Dust 2 relatively close, but I don't think they'll be able to take down Penta on that map. So we should see a 2-1 series, in my opinion, in favor of Penta. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna be bold and go up to 2-0 in favor of Penta. Ooh. But uh, that's my prediction. But we will pass it back over to Helium and Launders as they are about to take away map number one here in the series between Penta and Existence. All right, thank you, guys. I'm glad to see Miss Led there agreeing with me, and it looks like we uh, will not be much longer here. Got the 10 players in the server should be ready to go and get right into this because after all this talking, I know everyone, I want to see some CS go. You guys want to see some go. Launders, you want to see CS go? Oh, Mike, don't even ask me, dude. Don't even don't ask me. Don't even ask me. All right, so Dust, uh, he, tried to, he tried to skate that question. He didn't give us round by round. Mm, we didn't have any bold predictions from Dust. Yeah, claiming to be bold. That's the 2-0 for Penta, I don't know. That, that's probably what most people are expecting. I haven't checked the odds. Uh, I'd assume they fall in line with that. I um, think it's like 76-24 or something. Yeah, well, I don't know. You think they should be that that skewed? Um, I think if I were to place a bet and it was 0-0, zero, zero, I'd, I'd more than certainly place it on Penta. If, it, if the odds were you know closer to 60-40, I think it would be a little bit scary. I mean, I think I feel like if the odds were 60 to 40, right, would you want to bet on existence or would you think those are pretty good odds for Penta? You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they, they're a team that have bigger wins overall, as, as Des pointed out. Um, and, uh, and with this uh, bold map choice, I just, it, it just makes me feel even more confident about their play. Yeah, I mean, you certainly hope so. It, it, they might even look a little bit foolish here if they come out and just get, you know, run over yeah. like they did the last <laughs> time on cash. Like, oh, that didn't work. And even if that happens, yeah. I mean, I think they can, Penta can still come back. And actually, for the whole series, I would think Penta would take it 2-1. Yeah. But I, I would really like to see Existence kind of silence uh, the audacity there by Penta know, to just pick their map. Oh, man. they got to be upset about that. Yeah, I didn't get to pick it. They, they think they're getting uh, they're getting made fun of here mm -hmm. from Penta, a team that likes to just use submachine guns. Well, that's probably every team now. Yeah. But uh, they, they pull out the AUG and uh, the SG, or the Krieg, as I still call it, uh, quite often. Mm -hmm. Actually, what do you think of that gun in, uh, in CSGO? It's really good. I mean, it's just super accurate. First bullet does over 90 damage. If you're really close, it'll take you down at one shot. Um, and uh, you can run around with it. Next uses the next uses the Krieg. Um, obviously, Speedy uses the, both the Krieg, the Yog, um, and uh, and uh, and so I, I think it's a very viable gun. MBK I think was one of the first one of the first people to use it kind of like in a land like an important land match and did very well with it. It's a it's just very powerful. And uh, I think most of the reason that people don't use it is because well, number one, it's a little bit more expensive to be fair. But yeah. at this point, an AUG is only a hundred dollars more uh, than a, a Silence M4. So the, those uh, even that guy was closing and. And that can be more and more reason for someone to want to pick it up. And uh, that, that's part of the way that Valve prices the guns based on how often it's going to be picked up, right? They want, for the price point, that gun to be picked up a certain amount of times. And so I think there's a lot of incentive these days uh, for an AUG to be used. Um, you can really just lock down a site with it. you got a scope, too. I mean, the scope is, is kind of, I think, weird for people, right? It's, because it's, it's the only gun with that gun. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. But uh, the accuracy buff is, is, is very beneficial. So, uh, I like it, but I don't. I don't use it, but I like it. <laughs> oh, I I'm just know. not very. I'm just not very good with it. I'm just not very good with it. I just like. I think when someone uses it and I know they're ready to use it, that uh, it, it can do damage. That's what I'm trying to say. 
Yeah, I wanna. We need to get, uh, I guess, more sample size. Like, you know, our players using it more because it's only hundred dollars. Although yeah. I will say that hundred dollars has felt like a lot when I'm playing CT side. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm broke. Everything is really expensive on that team. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of nuts. No doubt. Uh, but yeah, excited to see that. Uh, so we'll see if it's. Oh the, yeah, the other point I wanted to bring up on that, like, if it's just the price or is Penta using it because they haven't really felt challenged in the in the pro play. No, 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 no. It's definitely a really good gun. There's just no doubt about that. Um, it's a it's a solid weapon, and uh, again, with the price, you know, it's not it doesn't cost as much as a Negev, so it's not a complete troll buy, if you will. Uh, it's uh, it's got the scope, the long range. It does the damage. And you can run around with it, so it's kind of the best of both worlds, somewhere in between an op and a rifle. Who was it that picked up the Negev Ace the other day? Yeah, that was MBK. MBK. Yeah, he's, he's pretty experimental with his buys. He, that was a really I mean, It's honestly solid. a good gun. It one-shots from miles away yeah, if you I hit mean, the head. Whenever I pick it up, I, I spray it and die, but uh, he ended up bursting it. And I think he called it a misbuy, right? Uh, in the middle of the round, as he was running uh, yeah, down he, to Yeah, he all chatted like, "I didn't mean to buy this guy. Sorry." Yeah, that's what I always say um, when I when I want to buy a troll gun. And uh, you know, he he helped the ace with it, and he ended up doing that. Um, very powerful. Yeah, that was actually on Inferno, so he shut down the mid push with it. I mean, tight mm -hmm. corridors, Negev, 150 bullets. Like that, that's where it's at. Yeah. Probably not going to see it on cash, and maybe unless this maybe gets out of hand. But I think finally we got the 10 people in here, and uh, we might be able to so get this underway. And actually, there we go. The flyby coming up, taking out the A sites. Probably see Kyrie by that truck a lot. Maybe over here in B as well with that off. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here we are in that pistol round. It's going to be Existence on that CT side. They, uh, well, Penta picked it, so Existence gets to choose. And here they are spreading out. 2 and A, looks like uh, 1 in mid. And 2 and B here for the pistol round. So rolling a 2 1 2. Lal peeking out mid, trying to bring down NKJ. Actually takes slightly more damage, but both of them here are pretty healthy. Lots of nades here uh, on the CT side, uh, and opting more towards armor over here for Penta. Yeah, so they've got two over towards Squeaky, and they've gotten one player out mid, and it looks like the other two want to just spend their time going up A main, as sometimes a player can't be useful there. But a player goes down, that's Mason taking down Spitty in A main, and next comes out for the trade, and looks for the second, and turns around and gets him as well. So that's the A site completely open. Yeah, that Glock mobility, able to get two, and a beautiful headshot there into the man, playing quad. So Bomb is going to go down in A, it's a four on three right now, Penta with a man advantage. Lau trying to work his uh, way over. He's the one with armor flipping. Can he use any of these nades? And Lau gets spotted. He's going to get brought down and now over into A main. It's flipping. Headshot from Nex will stop him. And, uh, well, Terrace plant the bomb and frag them out. Yeah, so we saw kind of an escort there while uh, Penta had two players come out mid with a third, drop him off at Vince, and then retreat off of that. And our player spotting Z kind of had to concede that once he wasn't able to hit a headshot right off the bat. Um, and once our player was out mid, uh, you, you could have kind of anticipated a split A, but there wasn't much you could do about it. As uh, in, in, in light of that information, we had someone push into Squeaky, they got traded out, next came out, and uh, got that trade immediately, and then got a second with an amazing 180 headshot on our player quad, opening up the A site completely, and that's what won the round for them. Again, Nex, just uh, always so good. All right, well, Dennis takes out uh, Moose and Bonnie, who is actually, he, he, I thought I saw him scout up. Yeah, he did, and now Lau is going to be able to pick it up. So he's rocking the scout and the CZ, but Speedy with the Tech-9 brings down Flippin, actually going to get Kyrie as well. We'll see Crystal moving toward uh, the vents. So the terrorists do have that vent control, middle control, and that's going to make things really easy for them here. Not only do they have the economy of these guns, but now it's just Mason by himself here. And this was, uh, it was an expensive round for existence. They, they forced up, and Mason would be lucky if he can save this. Yeah, and it's still really early into the, the changes that have occurred recently. And so people are still deciding, I think, whether or not they want to save on that second round. And it's something they aren't really used to. You know, at the beginning of Go, that was very common, right? Save for the next two rounds because we're probably going to lose them. And then come back with rifles and just win a round, put it on the board, and uh, not have to do damage to our economy in between for a risk that's not worth taking. But now we're kind of back to that meta where second rounds are becoming harder and harder to win. And uh, we don't see ecos happen too often anymore. And uh, teams are going to have to start making that hard decision 
decision about uh, whether to be more patient and save and take the fight later when they know they can win it, or pull out the risky buy now, which isn't going to do too much damage to our economy, but if we don't do enough economic damage back, it's not going to be worth it. Yeah, and I was actually really ex uh, surprised there to see the scout come out again. I thought that might uh, disappear from, from the losing team's second round. Mm -hmm. you know, with, the, with the power of SMGs and the ability to just close the gap. But looks like they, they opted for it. Mason, though, will find a kill. That will even things up. It's Dennis that has already fallen for Penta. Bomb still back in mid, under terrorist control. But they are just working some picks right now, trying to get this uh, easy. Well, maybe it won't be easy, but should possibly just be that easy third round. Yeah, we've got a 4v4, and, and that it's going to be in existences uh, kind of... Whoa, uh, Flippin actually takes someone down with a, a P2K, it looks like, and that's Fiddy. He goes down, so it looks like uh, Penta are going to want to take a site immediately, and they, they see an opening in A, and they take it, and that's going to favor them so much. I mean, they only have three players alive, but they have the site control. Oh, and by the forklift, I mean, it's good cover. All those bullets, he stayed alive for a while. Couldn't find the kill, though, and now two on two. The terrorists are very low. That's only 11 HP there for next. Still has the AK going to get flashed up at Kawad, so he's brought down into a one-on-one. -on -one. Flimbo with the scout. And NKJ with the very powerful MP7. And it's a very, very close one, especially with Existence not buying anything that round. Yeah, it was at that point in the round where Flippin was walking around the crates and he had the idea, okay, I don't see him forklift anymore. And unless he's hiding forklift, he's wrapping the site. And he looked over to the outside of the site, but I don't think was ready to take the shot because he had his crosshairs kind of looking in his direction, but didn't manage to shoot at all. Or, uh, and uh, that meant that NKJ was able to win the round. All right, guys. Uh, well, it looks like we do have a, a quick pause here. I'm not sure what's going on, but hey, a little bit of delay. We'll have a, a pause. So Penta, they do what they need to do. They, they get off with the, the first three rounds. So starting off hot on their sort of bold map pick, a map that they did lose to existence. But uh, I think actually we were looking through, they didn't have Dennis when they were playing that best of three, right? Yeah, they didn't have Dennis, but uh, they also had, uh, oh yeah, so it wasn't, it isn't uh, Blazor who's playing today. Yeah, and yeah. it looked like he might've been. So instead of Blazor, they're playing with Dennis. And I think that can only help them more. I think, you know, overall, maybe they felt like playing with Blazor meant that they were able to lose on cash or yeah, something strange like that. Yeah, I feel like maybe like one player that. doesn't change a map like cash Not very too much. much. I mean, Dennis, obviously a really great player, not a, a standout player on the same level as maybe Nex or, or Crystal might have been, but uh, that might be what had uh, changed their decision about it. But yeah, Pentagon with a round. Uh, that is the pistol and then two more uh, with uh, little to no trouble. Actually, on that last round, did come pretty close. I can't, yeah, I can't deny that. That was a, a 1v1. So uh, they, they had uh, almost got to the point where Existence were able to maintain a man advantage to the point of existence, or ex extinction, excuse me, for Existence. Um, and uh, going up against a full rifle bar right now uh, is is uh, is Penta, and it's going to be five M4s on the board, and that's the risk that you run when spending money on that second round, right? You won't have that money for an op if you really want it. The head armor, the extra nades, the incendiaries, these are all things that you sacrifice when you decide to buy on that second round or spend all your money or even half of it. So Flippin's going to be the only one with a kit. Uh, a few players without head armor, which isn't the biggest deal, but uh, they aren't going up against five AKs, at least not yet, and we'll see if that makes a difference um, in this fourth round. Crystal, though, does have that op just against all rifles. So we'll see what he can do with that. If maybe they're going to boost over mid. And I should say, guys, uh, you maybe saw the chat there. They had some, some high ping. Even though we're at the MLG Arena, this is still the Europe pro placement. So this is an online match. Uh, players not really too much under our control. But it looks like it wasn't very long. Uh, I think Crystal was the one maybe lagging. So let's calm down. And we're now into round four, that first rifle. And uh, I saw someone at the bottom of the boost. I don't know if they're just chilling there waiting for Crystal to maybe try to peek mid and, or go back to the boost. No, they've run out mid. Oh, and actually Moose on Bonnie is going to be the one to bring them down. That's the bomb. And you never yeah, want to entry what? frag with the bomb. Uh, that's, a, that's, that's CS 101. So uh, the bomb is kind of left out mid. And that means that the T players are going to have to congregate towards it. Next, looking for a fight in here. Gets traded out by Mason. Looking for the opportunity of finding it. Very good on him. All right, so when it comes down to those rifle rounds, it looks like Existence has, has struck back. Really no problem. It leaves NKJ very, very low and in a 1v4. He was able to bring down Mason towards A, but now he's very concerned about his flank, and rightly so, two players approaching. Uh, all right, going to go for the, the high up pop flash. Oh my gosh, he gets them both. Wow. But he, uh, That was from behind, I think. He still got shot down. 
Yeah, they both could see their future in that situation. But uh, it's it's uh, it's weird because Dennis obviously made a, a critical mistake walking out mid there, dropping the bomb, and not the worst spot possible. And I think it's important to realize that. But the thing is that uh, that can really affect the way Penta want to play out the round. First of all, the information on the bomb uh, is that it has been spotted, and then furthermore, they have to find a way to get it back safely. And they know that existence are responding to the fact that the bomb is left down in the open, even if it isn't completely in their control. All right, well, the op's actually going to come out again here from Penta, and now we get to see that op battle, and it's going to be a good one. Well, if they meet up, Crystal versus Kyrie, but... Uh, wow. Oh, trying to work through the door there. That was Dennis. Mason will actually bring him down in return, and prior to that, Flippin found a headshot onto Speedy, so Penta... It was like, oh, this bold map pick, 3-0, nice, going to work out. And then suddenly in these two rounds, with the rifle's existence looking as strong as ever on a map like Cash, but... And with the vent control we talked about being uh, really great for, well, both teams, CT for an aggressive side, works out there with another kill. Yeah, last round capitalizing on Mistake. This round, uh, not much to say. I mean, they, they won all of their duels. Mason actually picking up two. One through the squeaky door, which I think they anticipated a player to push up into. And uh, uh, across the board, we saw Kyrie making a very nice op shot at mid there. Uh, have to highlight that. And uh, overall, it, it was just a strong round in total. That's going to do a lot of good for their economy and a lot of bad for Penta. So on a save right now, uh, looking for a six round win. But uh, with a couple of smokes, definitely have a plan. And uh, it, it going up against a uh, you know, full buy by existence, who looks so solid in these previous rounds, I don't think they have much chance of doing it. But at least they do have a plan. Never want to go into an eco without a plan. Yeah, that's that's true. Unless you've given up, like all right, just run into the blender, <laughs> whatever. And then a best of three. I know it's a scenario that can come up sometimes. It's not going to see it here, I don't think. Uh, but it doesn't start off great as Flippin will bring down two just like that. Lau with another and Crystal and Speedy. Well, the plan's falling apart, but they will get at least one headshot, so forcing a rebuy out on Flippin. Boost and Bonnie trying to lock down B with that Molotov. And, oh, we see it there in the X-ray coming in through the vent is Mason, again showing the importance of that part of the map to find those final two. Yeah, it's important that you highlight that, like, uh, the, the vents have been really crucial. Like, we saw uh, a couple of the trades happen. Like, for example, the bomb getting dropped outside of mid. That was from the player at vents. I think it might have been Musambani on that previous round. And uh, now Mason dropping out of there can be very po uh, uh, very, um, very powerful, excuse me, for stopping a B rush to have that position because you can watch Checker from there and you can watch mid. All right, so Penta Sports, they got into those rifle rounds where they did have an op and they didn't work out. Uh, maybe not the only reason they're not using it here. It could be economy. So Crystal back to an AK, full AKs for Penta. Still the op on Kyrie. And uh, looks like the terrorists have been able to get themselves out towards mid. Next was pinned down a little bit there by Molotov and is going to be spotted. Oh. Kyrie though, will miss the headshot. Not generally what you want to be forced to aim for with an op. That small target, and Musa Bonnie slightly distracted. Maybe Ooh. thought those footsteps were coming from his right, but that was indeed the vent. So next finds the opener. Though Kyrie will bring down Crystal, and look how low these three members on Penta are. Still going to go in and find those entries. Next, going to peek one more in the CT, but going to be opt, and that's Kyrie with a 2K here. Mason to find one, and just like that, it's NKJ, the newer member here for Penta, in a 1v3, and he's got to get to that bomb as well. And, you know, stops for breakfast. Yeah, it can always suck. You're in the middle of a clutch. You're like, all right, uh, it's, a, it's a 1v3. I've got full life, and then a nade just drops on you while you're thinking um, and uh, stops that stops that future from ever being possible. But uh, another solid round from existence. And I'm almost regretting here making my bold prediction of a 16, uh, 60 and 8 because uh, existence so far have uh, three whoa, rifle rounds, whoa. one solid eco. My prediction was bold. Your I'm prediction the only one here with a bold prediction. I said 16-11 for existence winning. Fair enough, fair enough. But looking, you know, comparing the results right now, Penta don't even have a rifle round on the board. No, they don't. Yeah. It's, it looked really, and they haven't even, well, we can actually check here. They haven't even been close, have they? I mean, since the CT started winning, they have four surviving members, five, four, and then three. Yeah. So in the rifle rounds, Penta have only been able to kill two people at max. Yeah, and economically, that's 10 grand on the board for three players on existence and uh, like two and 5K for another. So they've got rebuys for the whole family for the next couple of rounds. I mean, they're sitting pretty and Penta every round they lose. Every round they, every, every round they lose, they risk being on a, uh, another save. And once you win rounds in, in succession like that, it can be really hard to come back from. But again, uh, Cash, as we highlight, is a very streaky map that can come down to momentum. And we're seeing that play out here today, but uh, with multiple rifle rounds on the board for existence, they're feeling hot, and it looks like they're trying to make, re make Penta regret their uh, yeah. very bold map pick, who uh, I thought could walk the walk, but we'll see. 
I think after round nine, they might actually be really worried, like shaking in their boots, because mm -hmm. uh, looking at the money, I think we touched on CT money, but Terrace money is not good. Like 2,000, yeah. 3,000, just, yeah, low threes. And uh, it's going to be another save round here. They'll have some tech nines. Looks like uh, it was tech nine and armor for Dennis. So I think everyone is going to be investing like a grand or a grand and a half. Uh, and then that'll be another rifle round of all AKs. Yeah. Um, now, the one thing about Penta was that in this uh, in this cash best of three that they played uh, previously in the in the pro placement, it was the CT side that was a huge problem uh, as uh, existence came away after losing the pistol round, came away with eight CT rounds in a row to close it up. And uh, Penta managed themselves to only get uh, eight rifle or seven rifle rounds um, near the end of the first half. So uh, that means that existence overall, strong CT, anti, and Penta, I guess, just uh, just feel like they were a little bit off that day. Like, look at Crystal. Nine frags in, on that map. I don't think that's what he's used to be, uh, that he's used to uh, putting up. So uh, maybe maybe they have just uh, they just they're just not feeling off anymore. They're feeling good in general, and that's why they feel like cash should have never been a map they lost in the first place. But uh, existence still ready. Yeah, still uh, being a, a bit rough there, and uh, well, still still waiting for this to resume. It looks like again it, w it was Penta with that, the internet problem, so uh, waiting for that. I don't know. Well, I saw you guys were fooling around with the, with the graphs. I didn't get to check out the average damage per round, but obviously CTs, you know. They're the four in a row. They've done a lot of damage overall. Yeah. And I, I think expect them to get round number eight. Mm -hmm. So, like I said a little bit earlier, round nine is going to be that key round that could decide, uh, well, at least the fate of the first half. Because, like, you said the map's streaky. You come back to, uh, well, I guess the Penta will be flipping the CT. You get the pistol there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't even know how Penta feels about this map. Maybe they, they are a lot more uh, comfortable when they're defending on that CT side. Yeah. Uh, I could see that being a thing. I mean, uh, they had a lackluster... CT side last time, but they still got seven rounds, and I think if they were feeling bad in general, that means they're expecting to have a really, really good CT side this time around. And you don't want to come into a map thinking that you're going to get all your rounds on T side. I think if anything, it's a CT rounds that you would expect to be handed to you. Uh, and uh, here we are, uh, off of the pause, back into it, Penta again on a save. Yeah, so two of the richer members, Nex and Dennis, will go for some armor with the Tech-9, and it will be Dennis moving out first, you know, just to soak some of that nade damage. But it's just the Tech Nines blazing and uh, trying to open up the door. Actually, no, it's still mollied out there. Smoked off in main. We'll go for the delay explode over here at the A site. But look at that nice crossfire. And I love the, this view just to, to highlight that. One from Quad and one from the Rafters. And now we got that third player coming over to A from the truck side. More mollies and smokes to deter the terrorists. So. This is, uh, they, they're discouraged. They're like, okay, let's, let's maybe try to work mid, which is where they're going to run into one of the most dangerous oppers, EU. Oh, wow, missing, missing the foot there. Rare footage of a miss from Kyrie. <laughs> yeah, and there's actually two players on that boost. I think one dropped off the back and one actually jumped forward, but, oh, look at that flip in. He might also get, uh, he flanks and then gets flanked, but actually able to get out of there. And now over towards A. So you're just trying to focus on two portions of the map right there as Penta. Like, let's make a bit of a fuss over in, in mid, but that fell short because they were immediately flanked there. And then they were just like, all right, we got to go. So the, the A execute falls flat. Yeah, if they wanted to sell a fake there or just bait out some nades, which they did do a good job of doing, they would have need to had a second smoke, right, for at least a minimum of, of, of smoking off fork and truck. But uh, they ended up throwing that smoke, not executing. I think wanted to wait for needs, got that out of the way, but then didn't have a plan to go back to A. Kind of fell off to mid, and once they got flanked, I thought, okay, they, it looked like they had a plan for the whole round. It looks like they only had a plan for half of it. And uh, Existence's defense caught them off guard a little bit. But now we're back on a buy. The man advantage goes to neither team here, as one player is down for both. And that means that that could favor, uh, I think, uh, Penta. This might be their best opportunity to win a round in a while. Yeah, the Crystal found the opener for them with the op, and then maybe they were they were hyped for a bit, but immediately silenced because he traded it out elsewhere on the map, but traded it out almost immediately, and then finds another and now moves in Bonnie uh, to take down Dennis. So just like that, Penta crumble on this round a little bit, and this will be, I mean, if they drop this, it's going to be uh, six in a row that, that they've lost. Yeah, but Penta did, uh, Crystal did open up the site by himself. He's going to push her to CT for an aggressive pick, doesn't find it, and is in a one on three. 
Yeah, now trying to work his way back through his... I think, is that, is that his own smoke? Maybe they put it there and flip in. Well, can't even see it. He was in that smoke. Flippin' sprays into it and does connect with Crystal. So three surviving members there for existence, and that's going to be round six on the board for them. Yeah, it was looking up until Kyrie took down next, and then, you know, a little bit of uh, hope was lost, I think, for every member on that team as uh, they would have had to go up against uh, existence with a man down and that man being next. So, uh, you know, putting Crystal in a 1v3 was a tough situation. He did manage to get two picks in the round, wasn't able to ace for his team, uh, but uh, still still opened up a sight. There was a glimmer of hope there, but at a certain point, it's about putting rounds on the board. We aren't necessarily at that point yet, but Kyrie comes out with another opening oh pick, gosh. and I expect him to just get hotter and hotter as the game goes on. Yeah, indeed. Kyrie, he's so hot right now. <laughs> I feel like we've said that almost every time uh, we've covered existence because yeah. he really does just heat up with that op. He finds the opener there, and that will be... This is another buy round here, so after this... Oh, no, another player is going to drop. That was the player that was already dead, though, I think. So might move into another pause, but at least it won't have affected this round. Mm -hmm. That will definitely be right after it, and... Uh, it won't be a big deal. I think Dennis just opted to go for the reconnect. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. maybe with, uh, I think a reconnect previously maybe had a, a UI bug, so he reconnects while dead. There we go. No Ooh. need to panic. NKJ trying to find someone today. That uh, player at forklift being very, very patient, and we see their Mason peeking out quick. And that was, I love that X-Ray was off there because you just see how fast he just shows up out of nowhere to get that kill. Yeah. And then they set up a beautiful crossfire, one at fork and one on the, the overhang there, the catwalk. And now that just leaves Crystal with the Galil. Going to find one jumping around there in Z. But Lau will bring him down. And now Existence, round seven on the board. That was a beautiful Cerberus that he had. I wonder who he picked that up from. Need to hit him up with a trade offer. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Penta still looking for one rifle round in this game. I mean, just, uh, you know, I, I, I feel like with, with them picking the map, they want to have not just the lead, right? Not just a small lead, but like a dominant lead in any half on both on either side of the map, because otherwise it's going to look pretty embarrassing for them. And uh, again, you know, they put a lot on the line uh, by picking this map. But Kyrie, once again, right off the boost, just oh. takes a head off of Spitty. Unbelievable. All right, to be fair, that's one location where you are probably going to get a headshot a lot as the opper because uh -huh. people are like, you know, hey, just peeking up but over the boost. But, but that's but if you can get the headshot, Yeah, right? it's still a crazy headshot, but it's not like he's, you know, an opper that aims for the head. That's just the only thing he can see in that case. Mm -hmm. And he's got it now, what, two rounds in a row? Yeah. And I think he's hit it uh, here and there uh, previously. But next, all right, not one to give up. We'll bring down Moose and Bonnie. And you're into a four-on-four four with Kyrie, who's actually very, very low. But, you know, you can't stop this guy. He's going to get flashed, smoked out a little bit. Now some backup from the truck. That's Lau there. Crystal done with the quick flank, so that takes down the truck player. And it's a one-on-two. So, I mean, honestly, a bit, whoa. And he actually finds the headshot there onto Mason. So now a one-on-one, -on -one, and the first real shot Penta has had since they've picked up rifles. He's got the bomb, too. I think he has... Uh there's the notion that he's he's on highway. I think he's his feet. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, he started the reload. I got very scared. And I mean, the default plant, if he went for it quicker, would have been perfectly safe. It's oh, a safe plant. Flippin's going to get map. the idea that he wrapped the site right now. He's got to be careful. Crystal, oh my gosh, he's still checking the highway. He wants to look here behind this wall. He's not there. And actually, now oh, the CT player has moved up to quad. And Crystal able to get that rotation now over to B. And he will have enough time to get the bomb down. So we will actually see Flippin. Put in a retank situation one on one. My God, what an extremely brave play. And uh, here's Flippin thinking, no way it's going to be B. I just saw him on the site. He was just about to plant. There's no way he passed right by me. And uh, yes to all of those things, as now he's oh. got to go up against a 1v1 where Crystal has all the time and in the world Crystal. to get a good position. He had the right idea and then maybe thought about it too much, backed off of that position. He was watching it. Oh, and now he's going to miss those shots. That's going to get Flippin an opportunity to gun him down. Oh. He misses some as well, pulls out the side oh. arm. P2Ks <laughs> him down. Oh, and my Flippin goodness. with the kit, and it's going to be round eight here. You thought he had it. I mean, he had all the time in the world to get in the best position possible, and he put himself in a position to get spotted first and lose a 1v1. That's a, a huge loss round for Penta. That could have been their first rifle round on the board right there. I think a 1v1 that once he got to the A site was actually handed to him, and he wasn't able to close it out. I, I, I can't imagine him being anything but upset right now. As a, That's a pretty huge failure. Yeah, and he picked the spot, right? He's like, oh, I'm going to post up and watch vents. But then he's like, well, actually, you know, maybe it comes through CT. Maybe it comes through the B warehouse. Like, I can't actually just be exposed. So I had to give oh, up that spot. No way. And Kyrie gets another. Like, at, at what point do you just stop trying to boost over there? Because Kyrie's taken down now two. 
He's finally killed by Nex, and actually NKJ on the board, so that oh. evens it up. And now Crystal moving through aggressive with the op through that smoke. He's low, but he found that kill. And now it's a three on two. And this time, I honestly think this is the first time they've had man advantage, but not for long. Musen Baini finds the trade, and the terrorists don't actually have the bomb. It's under their control, but they don't actually have it with them. It's scooped up now by NKJ over an A main. Uh, but Flippin, oh, he's going to find one out towards middle. Uh, bomb to be planted. Oh, he's oh he's gonna get peaked. He's oh okay. Never mind. I thought he was gonna be moving up through X-ray, but he is just playing truck. Oh wow, that oh. was a big. There's been some crazy nades thrown at these Penta members. Now the flash is coming in. He'll back up to quad, looking for the pop flash. Aggressive peak here. Just misses it. Just misses it again. But uh, that time not shooting. Didn't want to give away the position. Oh, oh and the aim a little wonky there. Oh my NKJ. god. Yeah, not not much to say except that it's okay. No one saw. The, 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 There's a little bit of a miss there, flipping. Uh, had low HP, but uh, he couldn't get the frag. Um, it was almost a nice spot to get out of the out of the sight like that. He managed to get a player blind, and he knew that. And I think that once the flash popped, it was kind of called that he would be quad. And so him coming to the left side of the site made it possible for him to win the round. But um, you know, you got to have the plays and you got to have the aim. And unfortunately, in that round, uh, NKJ couldn't do it. Now, Existence put another round on the board. They are getting a little bit closer. You could say Penta are starting to make some good adjustments, and even though are kind of running some kind of default and getting shut down in mid. Still coming kind of close to winning the round. It looks like they want to go over boost right now and uh, take him straight up, but it looks like Dennis is going to be the one opping. I mean, honestly, not the dedicated opper, but if it's just been not working out, switch it up and yeah. maybe it catches your opponent's off guard. And uh, it was probably a spawn play there, but uh, yeah. he, does, he does put a, a kill on the board. Yeah, because Kyrie wasn't there. Yeah, it was just Lal posted up uh, with a with a rifle in there, and Kyrie has where did he actually go? Was he off towards B? Yeah. And that being said, Kyrie is still alive. Oh, no, he's at A. Sorry. Yeah, so he's watching uh, A main there. Uh, Mason is going to be brought down by NKJ, and this is one of those pivotal rounds where it's like, oh, they were about to oh, to run my. away with this, and you know, if Penta win this, they could easily just make it nine six, and suddenly you've had a very close half. So we'll see how it goes. A two on two here at round. 13. Dennis with, okay, he switches out now for that AK. And speed, he's able to get one. Can he find the second? No. He does light up Moose and Bonnie. Moose and Bonnie already with a 2K on the round and down to 34 HP up against Dennis, who's found one frag and is full health, but no head armor. So if he gets one tapped right here, that's maybe, that's maybe why. But well. no. Moose and Bonnie won't even have a chance to look at him. Dennis guns him down. Peaks out of the right time and uh, wins that 1v1 for his team. So that's a 1v1, one for Penta. That's four rounds on the board. A, little, a few of these rounds are a little bit closer than they would appear, but existence with nine rounds on the board and, and not a pistol to back that up means they are looking really good on the CT side. Kyrie even doing work in that round, getting two frags in the A site. And uh, I think he's moved over to A because uh, he felt confident that they wouldn't do full executes. It looks like Penta uh, are having more success running uh, defaults and and just working picks until they can get into the site because I think they believe in their individual play. But we'll have to go up against Musa and Bonnie in the checker here who takes next down with a quick headshot. That's a huge player down. And now he's got a good spot up towards that box. Maybe peek out quick close on Dennis. But here's a Crystal and I think some teammates of his are dropping off that boost right now. They're going to try to molly out, uh, get flipping to move or at least stop him from pushing. I'm not sure if that's where the molly was intended to go. Either way, this map, or this round, excuse me, not going so well for Penta. Yet to get even on the board. Dennis can do it here, and he does. He'll bring down Moose and Bonnie, who did have a 3K on this round, so maybe cool him off a little bit, uh, but misses that one close, and Mason is able to get that headshot, and that is now round 10 for Existence. Yeah, Existence responding to the way that Penta have been working on the map in, in, uh, recently, and one of the best ways you can rely on your individual plays on cash is to work mid, and it is to come up over the boost and try to take a shot off, and, and in response to that, try to play three mid, ended up working out because Moose and Bonnie and the checker did his job and got his kill for free, shut down all the aggression over towards there, and Penta don't really have that many options. They haven't had success in the A site. They haven't had success in the B site. They mostly had success in middle and in a very late round 1v1, one time. Yeah, now we see the last round of the half, so you got to buy up the desperation. I would call it desperation, honestly, when it's 10 to 4 here. Obviously, you were going to buy Tech 9 and armor anyway with, with his money, but here they go, trying to run and gun their way out of the doors and through a main. But getting... Greeted by a lot of flashbangs. Everyone's staring at white. Oh, oh Mason! Oh. And uh, those corners, man. Corners and nades, they're not, they don't get along. He was hosting a barbecue. Yeah. And well, didn't molly off the squeaky, but it doesn't really matter. The player trying to get out of there doesn't find anything. And now it's just Dennis with the bomb. Three HP and an AK. And a dream. 
And a dream. That's the most important part. Mm -hmm. Him and MLK. Dennis and MLK. <laughs> So they got in common. All right, it looks like Flippin was there to cut off that rotate, but I don't. He doesn't even get that far. Mason will move up, I think, towards highway, uh, and that is the half, 11 to four, for existence. And I mean, Penta got those first three rounds, you know, winning uh, the pistol and then the next two really cleanly. Yeah. It came to rifles, and they couldn't do anything. Yeah, I, I want to say, and I don't want to put this all on one player, but it started with the 1v1 that, that Crystal couldn't win. I think that that would have given them more opportunities to win rounds because because they won that, they had to save, right? And that's another opportunity lost. And in the in the later half of the first half, we saw a lot of success from Penta in the early to mid round, coming up mid um, and, and trading out. But once we got into the late rounds, uh, we had Existence winning all the clutches. And once again, Penta only have one rifle round in that entire half. And it was off the back of a 1v1 from Dennis. Yeah, and I believe, uh, I, well, the Crystal 1v1 was the most exciting. We, we got the 1v1 cams out. It was for a very sure, long rotate. Sure. And actually, it started off with some sick flashes and, and fakes. And definitely, the team that was supposed to win, which I think was Penta, couldn't do it. So uh, they, they ended up losing that 1v1. It was crucial. Now, they're going to have to go into this half um, and have a tough road. Now, the thing is that Existence are on the T side. Penta have that going for them but it all starts with this pistol. Yeah, and uh, very, very important always, but I mean, when you're down this many, you're really gonna need it as, all right, I guess. Oh, that was just the replay, okay, I see. Um, still uh, waiting, no, that wasn't a replay, that was the, the pistol round. We so. are still live. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, guys. Um, and all right, we're back into it, sorry about that. Uh, Penta, they found the first two, so Mason and Kyrie are down. And it's a five on three for Penta, looking to get that fifth round on the board. And I mean, hopefully they can get uh, the first three for both halves, right? They, they desperately need it now. Yeah, Existence are playing this out a little bit scared, I feel like, and, and uh, aren't even able to get any map control. And so from that, are getting picked apart, but Lau gets a very important kill on headshot, takes the head off of Nex, and his Moose and Bonnie's gonna hold down the vent, they can try to plant the bomb. Dennis does move towards that smoke, though. The bomb has been planted in a very safe position, and Flippin gets him. And now, coming through the vent, Speedy, I mean, they were watching this immediately, because there was only one player B, and the other one was got kind of stuck up in the vents, which was Speedy. Hasn't been able to get out, and, you know, they flipped it around just like that, from a 5-on-3 to a 2-on-3, now a 2-on-2. So, seeing how the cookie crumbles here, NKJ trying to get into the site, but cannot. Lau will bring him down, oh, and now Speedy oh, moving oh, up, oh. going for the knife! Oh, he gets the knife, so Constellation knife, but Flippin takes him down, and Penta cannot be happy about losing that one. Yeah, no, that's, that's going to be a huge surprise. At first, it seemed like Existence uh, were, were low on options. It was down to uh, 3v5, I think, and then Lau got that, that opening pick on the B site, uh, cleaning up that player at headshot, and that was where Penta was weak. You know, they had a lot of people at mid, and uh, the player that was supposed to be in vent was actually pushing through, looking for information, and, and they took advantage of that by um, acting on instinct, I feel like, and uh, once they got that pick for free in the site, won that 3v4 with class, and uh, and come away with a, a huge pistol round. I really didn't think they were going to pull that off. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they I didn't think they were going to pull that off. I don't think Existence thought they were going to pull it off. I don't think Penta yeah, thought that they would. Nobody pull thought. It off. Nobody that thought that was going to happen. But it sure did. And now we've got. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. It doesn't start off all that great. I mean, there is that rifle there because of the knife money. And, I mean, at that range, I guess, towards the middle, it was able to shut down the SMG, so Existence just really not expecting it. And they even had an AK of their own, because Dennis is going to be able to scoop up one of those now. Uh, it is a two-on-three, though. MP7 can be very strong. There's the trade out there. Puts him in a one-on-two, and from behind, it's Dennis. Oh, my god! So we will see the eco. Wow. The, uh, the ever-elusive eco. Well, I can't eco. even call it an eco, because they bought a rifle. But yeah, yeah, the second round. It's not an eco if you spend all your money. That's that's definitely true. Um, and uh, that, that's the fifth round on the board for, for existence. You have 13 to 4. Looks 10 times worse than 12 to 5. 10 times yeah. worse. Uh, they, they have so much more of a buffer that is Penta if, if Existence only have 12 rounds. And now that they're on a buy, going up against a counter buy from Existence, who want to try to steal back the momentum and uh, swing the economy you know, uh, hardly, hard back into their favor, um, are going to be buying themselves. It's a really, really risky buy. I think it's yeah, going to take... Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, you know, a counter buy on CT side might be easier to win uh, than on T side. Uh, I mean, maybe expecting full rifles, but this almost seems like an old habit thing, right? Because we still have the MP7 and the P90 up. Yeah. 
which I mean, well, more so the MP7 because it was the one buffed. But it was, you know, it was buffed to sort of silence the Tech Nine on rounds just like this. Mm -hmm. But NKJ not able to do any damage and actually has been uh, dealt uh, enough to be down to 30. And uh, I don't know if the scout. I guess that was probably the scout shot. I'm actually going to guess uh, to NKJ to get him there. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> okay. Well, when it's in the hands of Kyrie, just like that, still peeking so quick with that gun. Next though, in the sight. Oh, he gets one, but. Immediately, two headshots coming up from the Tech 9. Speedy gonna move in through the oh. smoke and does actually get one in sight. And one of the generators flipping now with the Tech 9. Now with an AK. And Musambani has got his hands on an MP7. So Speedy moving in for the retake and standing in the open, switching out to your sidearm. Isn't gonna work out. So the 1-1-1 the one, one, one split here on the, on the first three rounds. Oh, unbelievable. That rarely happens. I mean, that's a huge round um, that uh, existence one is to win. And now uh, it, it, uh, it looks like... Uh, Penta have no choice but to eco. Um, will they be spending all their money? No, it's just on. They are spending all of their money on the back of one M4 and pistol. So looking for a one, 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 <laughs> one split. Yeah, I don't know. Just back, <laughs> or back to back to back. Is oh that the gosh. better way to say that? And you know, at the end of the day, if that keeps happening, it's going to favor existence. But if Penta can and win this round and end it here, and they do have the man advantage again, so will we see a one, 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 one split uh, for the? for the one time in Counter-Strike. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, Dennis uh, got that first kill as traded out there eventually by Moose and Bonnie over uh, towards Sunroom and, and B Warehouse. Uh, that's, uh, a, that's an M4 in a bad spot. Yeah. Although still, I mean, a lot of potential here with these P250s, especially th I'm looking at that Deagle and on a person like Nex, mm -hmm. maybe expect to see some Yeah, like an Ace, here. an easy Ace or whatever. Yeah, well, I can't get the Ace because Dennis already started it off, but oh. an Ace of, of the currently living, I suppose. I think it's called a mini Ace. Many Ace, that seems reasonable. Uh, Mason finds one with that FAMAS using that CT weapon tree. Nice dink with the nade. I love it. And then uh, about 50 damage coming off of him there as well. Speedy being uh, controlled over there at Z. Let's see what next can do with the Deagle. Because it looks like they are uh, they are going towards A. And we've got flipping over here in highway. So kind of a 2-1 split onto this A site where we do have oh. uh, two of the CT players. Oh, good nade. Oh, what? He's, he lives. 9 HP. They're going to see the player at 4 can bring him down. NKJ most likely yeah, can't do much with just 9 HP. Peeks out to be shot down immediately. And now Speedy coming over with the 5-7. Oh. And the Urban Hazard, it looks nice, but it's, it's not enough there to find a 3K and win the round. Yeah. Uh, and so we won't see that, uh, that split happening today, but that's really going to favor Existence, uh, who are uh, knocking... Are, who are uh, who are about to take this first map and uh, kind of uh, reverse uh, reverse the opposite of my prediction, I guess I could say. Um, and uh, I might have to pound down to you a little bit as as you, you thought that they might win this map. I'm I'm truly surprised. Uh, Penta here, so with three armor buys, we're looking to even out the money, but we'll go back to a buy next round. Uh, you know, I think our are, are, are kind of like talking in the sense that. You know, that once they see that they're losing the map anyway, they're just going to play for whatever and just go on to the next map. Yeah. And are just going to try to win it for the sake of pride. And it's they a map they have love. so much pride that, like, yeah, and it's a map they love. That they're just going to, you know, uh, just do whatever on this map, see if it works. But Existence are definitely outclassing them right now, uh, showing them what they're made of and making them regret picking cash. Yeah. And, uh, well, we'll see uh, one player here. It's next. Is that, is he rocking the Unsilenced USP? That's my hero right there. <laughs> All right, moving into the site, though, the terrace. So it's under their control. About to blow up bomb site B. Or will they? Can uh, these pistols with some armor? And the one AK on Crystal, enough on the retake. But they're a man down on Penta. And it looks like Existence should be putting up match point without too much trouble. And Speedy going to move on in. Doesn't really work out for him. NKJ, though, maybe not expecting two to come out from heaven that quick, but... Mason shoots him down, and Crystal on the save. So my prediction, it was 16-11 for Existence, because mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be pretty close, so I guess I'm technically wrong, but by Price is Right rules... But just in the W and right. the, yeah, the Price is Right rules, which are the standard, uh, standard, standard rules for fallback for rules for right? Counter-Strike, yeah. uh, for sure. I'll, I have to give it to you. Um, and uh, that's going to that's gonna be a huge defeat for Penta now. They do have the opportunity here. I mean, there was a partial save. So uh, with their money evened oh. out, I guess they'll have the opportunity to try and buy here. Though it looks like NKJ and Speedy are um, on their last few dollars. They're going to have to buy some goodwill guns and uh, see what they can do with it. But um, uh, have to come back 10 rounds in a row after getting eco twice on, on their CT side already. So that's not going to be good for their confidence. 
And uh, I should say, for those of you coming into the stream, and also, the, also those of you that have uh, trickled in here to the MLG Arena, uh, map two is Mirage. I mean, we got the match point, so it looks like, based on the way this has gone, we'll probably see it pretty soon. And Moose and Bonnie even finds the opener, almost able to get two. It's NKJ down to a little bit. Oh, the pop flash, but then the, the push through the smoke wasn't following it up. Mm -hmm. I think you got stuck on the wall. I do that all the time. Yeah, that's true. Those smoke smoke blind is <laughs> Where worse am than I? full white, honestly. Yeah. So four and four. Working towards A here. Because smoke uh, blind can go on forever if you never find your way. That's true. Like 10, 10 seconds plus. How long does it take to go away? 50, like a second and a 50, half? It's a full, 15 seconds plus dissipating. Yeah, and then plus, yeah, I guess if you stand in, it dissipates and you can see, but if you were to run out of it, then you still have like that second or two. Yeah. Now, it is actually 4v4 in this round, so I guess we can't count them out quite yet. Speedy does oh. manage to make it an even uh, bigger man advantage. And that Molly didn't really go to where it wanted to. I, maybe they wanted a fence. Generally, you see it over towards Quan, but they're going to push through. The trades are there, and they're effective. You know, it's two on two. So it is winnable, so Penta can stay in it, but it's a long road back. They're a deficit of 10 right now, and they're playing for the tie. Oh, oh the spray control, and not quite there, and that'll be it. Existence will take it 16-5, and it will be now their map pick, which was Mirage, although a favorite of both of these teams coming up next. Yeah. How do you feel about these two? How do you feel about Existence's performance? Do you think it was mostly a fault of uh, Penta not being able to just, I don't know, get their feet on the ground almost? I mean, they did manage to lose both pistols, and so I feel like the map was a little bit closer than it looked, but at the same time, Existence, we're winning all of the important rounds. and We have some stats, stats up here for you to look at for yourselves. Um, it next, top fragging once again for his team. Uh, eight frags on the board. Uh, uh, not not the typical yeah. performance that we see uh, from him, who who's usually who usually has his 20 even if they lose. But um, everybody is struggling to do their part, it seems. Yeah, and uh, I, like you said, struggling to get their feet on the ground. They honestly were because they were boosting up onto the boost, and yeah. they could never get off of it. They couldn't get back to the ground because Kyrie was killing them like two people yeah. every single round at boost, at least one. And uh, now it looks like uh, we've got almost the, the full stats here. So now that was just the first half that I think that popped up initially because it, it seemed a little low. We will see uh, next, though. Actually, not on top. Speedy with 13 here. So next, I mean, you can't really say underperforming, but from like our small sample size of uh, the best of threes here in the pro placements. It's definitely a, a group effort of underperforming in this situation, yeah, for sure. Um, as everybody seemed to struggle quite a bit. And uh, overall, uh, from from existence, we see a very nice and even kill distribution. You know, even Lowell had 14 frags, put a 50 in efficacy, so definitely did his part in some way or form. And uh, three clutch rounds, uh, three clutch kills from Moose and Bonnie, though I think... Uh, yeah, one one was won by him, so uh, that's a that's a great first map uh, from existence. I expect them at this point to be able to secure a second map. I thought if they were going to win a map, it, I guess it, I guess it would have had to been cash, even though I called it 2-0. But at, right now, it's looking like an upset could be highly possible. All right, so Miss Led and I still in it to win it with the predictions, and we'll see what happens on map two, Mirage here in uh, the Sevo Season 7 Pro placements between Penta Esports and Existence, and we'll be back with Mirage. We're going to do a quick commercial break, guys, so stay tuned, and we'll be back here with all the action.